world's superhero population has been infected with a virus which turned them into unpainted miniatures. Rob the board game miniature painter shall lay waste to that pile of gray shame. Hey, I'm Rob the Miniature Painter, and today we're going to be painting Rocket Raccoon Hero and Zombie version from Marvel Zombies. Here's the paint you're going to need because we're going to be slapping on some speed paint on top of a whole bunch of ways of painting with these paints, which includes a zenithal highlight of a gray and then, or a black, a gray, and a dry brush of white, and then a matte gray and a dry brush of white. So you can choose whichever method you like the most, and you can use your speed paints on top of it to get really extremely nice finishing or finished models. We're starting off with, of course, bony matter. And why is bony matter important? Because it's a good skin for the zombies I've been using in Marvel Zombies. Maybe eventually I'll have to change it up in another game from zombie games, but hey, for now, it works. The next part we're doing is his tail on both these male models here, and we're using Blinding Light and Howling Sand, a little bit of a 50-50 mix here, because I wanted a whitish, beige-ish color, and these two mixed together kind of gave exactly what I wanted for his tail. And then we're using some Fire Giant Orange on his jumpsuit for both models again. But you're going to see the difference whenever you have just the matte gray primer with the dry brush and then the black primer with the Zenithal gray and the dry brush of white. You can actually tell a difference of how Speed Paints reacts with darker and lighter shades and how certain colors work better, certain don't, and so on and so forth. You're going to notice here I'm going to leave some spots on his face with the uh, undercoating already there because in... The zombie mode, he kind of had like white skin around the facial area, like around the eyebrows and the mouth and all that. Whereas on the uh, hero version, he has more like of a beige tone, which I actually just use uh, skeleton bone uh, just for around that area. Uh, very lightly painted it on, so I don't show that on camera, but I just wanted it to be a little bit of a highlight. But I just want to show you guys what it is to paint a miniature with the speed paints and try and get through your pile of gray shame in board games. I know a lot of people have piles of gray shames in many other games, but board games are rarely painted up on YouTube, and I would like to see this channel grow a bit more, so please share. Follow me on Facebook as well. You're going to see some other miniatures I work on, some things I ask questions, a whole bunch of fun stuff like that, and I try and keep my... Uh, audience entertained with what I do and how I paint and all sorts of fun stuff like that so the link to that is in the description also if you feel like it you can become a member you get exclusive videos which are going to be coming up soon there is a list of some already for a song of ice and fire eventually age of sigmar will be up on there as well with some other miniatures painted up for the channel and uh just hit the join button it costs less than a coffee and this is per month because you can spend about 10 bucks on a coffee a day so my little three or five dollars a month is not going to break the bank and it's going to help support my channel which could come in really handy right now with everything that's going on in life in general uh anyway so as you can see i skipped a few um, paints here but you saw what i've been painting and what I, what's been going on here uh, the uh, grim black is going to be used for the stripes on his tail. Now on the zombie version it was a little harder to see. The details weren't as uh, pronounced as on the hero version for the tail where the little ripples were coming out of the fur for the black stripe. So it was very hard to determine exactly where it was. And it's not because the paint was on too thick, it's just the details were just not there as much. Uh, again, Simon brings it really well with these miniatures, especially for the bases. Uh, they include a whole bunch of cool scenery and uh, stuff like that. But I don't show you, like, I just put usually uh, washes now on uh, the base part. Like this one, I'm using the polished silver on the rocket and uh, the jetpack or whatever else, like the, some of the spaceship parts or whatever there is on the ground. Uh, but the rock and sand or stuff like that, I usually just toss on a wash. And so on and so forth. If you like this video, hit that like button. Comment down below what you think of my painting video. What you think of Rocket Raccoon. How he turned out. Join Facebook. Join Discord. Come and show me if you've painted Rocket Raccoon following my video. I'd like to see how it turned out. Maybe even turned out better than mine. More than likely it has. Anyways, again, we are done. And that was super quick and easy to paint. Maybe about 25 minutes and so for both of them. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you all in the next one.